Hi, I'm Melanie Slayton. I'm a partner at Hall Booth Smith PC. I'm a lawyer here in town. Um, Hall Booth Smith is a full service law firm uh, that's based in Atlanta but has offices all throughout the Southeast. Um, my particular area of interest and specialty is employment and labor law. Um, one of the upcoming trends or the present tr trends in our country, it's called the, the gig economy. Uh, we're, we're looking at things like Uber and Airbnb and Lyft. Um, the change from your traditional employee to the independent contractor. So I just want to spend a few minutes and talk about the difference between being an employee and being an independent contractor. An employee basically is controlled by the employer. They set the terms and conditions of employment. They determine the hours of employment. They usually provide the tools of the trade, um, a start time, an end time. Um, they tell the employee what to do. Uh, an independent contractor is, uh, by definition, someone who has some freedom of choice, the freedom to contract with various um, companies, not tied basically to only to one company, freedom to set the terms and condition uh, of employment, um, but also uh, free um, in terms of not having to necessarily do everything that the company tells them to do. Um, when we look at independent contractors, we're looking at companies such as Uber and their, their model. Now, one of the problems, of course, is that when you have an independent contractor, they have to be a true independent contractor. And if you're the company and you're trying to impose a lot of rules and regulations and limitations on that contractor, and you're telling that contractor exactly what to do and how to do it, and there's no um, opportunity for uh, any sort of negotiation, um, you might have an issue where that person could then claim that they're an employee. So one of the things you want to look at is you want to have um, a contractor agreement. You want to uh, make sure that that contractor understands the terms and conditions of that contractual relationship. And you want to, to understand that if you have somebody that has been an employee and you convert them to an independent contractor and they're doing pretty much the same job as they were doing as an employee, uh, the Department of Labor is going to look at that and probably conclude they're probably still an employee. Um, and when that happens, there are potentials for fines and penalties. Um, so that's an issue that is, is a trend, and it's something that uh, we advise about at Hall Booth Smith.